And, you, and your wife wasn't impressed, you were saying? Yeah, I came home and I showed her all these offers, and it's mm. good. You guys are paying really good money. Like it's, I don't Take have a, care of the comics. Yeah, I don't have a TV job right now, so that's that's my income. Yeah. And I showed it to her, and she's like, "Yeah, great." So you're going out of town, leaving me with the kids. Yeah. I'm like, "Fuck you! You, well, how much money do you make? <laughs> what are you pulling in uh, this week? Yeah. Would you rather starve to death and fucking let the kids get skinny? You fucking ungrateful cunt. <laughs> now the only way who I does, know who doesn't listen she, to XM? She doesn't quite get the point that you know this is your job. You don't. Yeah, go uh, on and I'm remembering the phrase I was trying to remember: the separation of labor. Is that what it is? The division of labor contract right. has been thrown away mm, in marriage. Because I know where you're going to go with this, but I got to ask Louis C.K. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, when you married your wife, you were already in comedy, right? Yes, I was. So it's not like you were. Uh, I didn't spring it on her. No. It wasn't like you're working spring. for NASA. You had a yeah. nine to five job. Uh -huh. You were coming home and she knew what she was getting into that you'd be there to raise yep. the kids. You, when you guys met, she knew you were a road comic. Yes. Yes. But so, the way, it's not even that I go on the road. The point is that I enjoy my job. Right. So she thinks of it that because uh, it's not like I'm going out in slack. She wishes I was doing a miserable job, and then she would be proud of me We'd come home for and go, debasing oh. myself oh, yeah. in order to put a roof over the head. But the fact that I do something that I'm proud of, that I love doing, and I, but it still puts a roof over the head, but because women's liberation... That because there are women that have careers, we're yep. not allowed to say that we are providers anymore. If you're yeah. a man, but the fact is, my wife lives off of my fucking work and doesn't do <laughs> shit. So if she had a career, then she could go, yeah, fuck you with your open Anthony tour. I don't care. I'm I'm working too. Yeah, I got my but money. But the fact is, she just eats food that I buy for her. But I'm not allowed to point that out, or else I'm a male chauvinist. Like I'm, I'm being a like backwards pig by pointing out uh, the fact, which is that if I stop doing these fun tours where I might get blown by a whore or two, <laughs> that that she can't eat, that she can't eat anything, because if she tried to start making a, she's worthless. She has no oh sense of, God. she she couldn't, she could never support our house. She There's couldn't no, do it. If no, we switch places, it would like some dumb sitcom. You're right. Uh, the kids would be very happy with me because I'm good at taking care of the kids. You'd and be the fun guy hanging around. And the my house. wife would be unable to fucking yeah hold she, down the job. She's and, never done it. Really? She worked at a Chinese restaurant for one week, and the wait the the woman who owned it, this Chinese woman, <laughs> said to her, uh, "How come you so slow?" Oh, and she no. said, because I'm busy. How many tables do you have? And she said, I have three tables. And she said, I think you may be no be waitress. And she oh, fired her. Wow. That's how you get fired in Asian. Yeah. By the way, I think you know be <laughs> I think you may be no be waitress. You may be no be waitress. Yeah. Yeah, you should this. just stop in there, maybe learn something. Happy yeah. birthday, Lou. Oh, thanks, Hope fellas. dead before the next one. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, my friend. That must have been a nice birthday for a couple of years, September 12th. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Hey, I, happy birthday. Oh, did you, no, oh the tragedy. September 10th, I, I, we had my birthday party early because I was flying to L.A., on the, uh, the the big one, yeah, and I I flew the night before to L A. Uh, but we had a big birthday party for me in our backyard, and I my wife got me a pinata, which we oh like a traditional. The head of that pinata still hangs in our backyard. Really, it, it's just this symbol of the last normal moment. Oh yeah, of our yeah. lives. It's just this withering. <laughs> or you're just a lazy Mexican <laughs> oh, <laughs> who doesn't clean up his pinata, his own yard. <laughs> I bet you got some this morning though, right? A little birthday. A l a, some what? <laughs> some what? I don't know how it is on the old birthday. You know, you're going to need to go beyond innuendo for me to understand because I didn't get nothing on my birthday. No. I got a pen. <laughs> a nice pen? It was a nice pen. It's a cross pen. Yeah. There are nicer pens. <laughs> cross. Cross. A pen, pen on your birthday is good if it's sticking out of a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't say I that. But it's, uh, yeah, but it's So you can't say that Wednesday. Wait, the pinata, what was it? <clears throat> like it SpongeBob? Was, no. It was <laughs> what? It was a burro, you know. A Don't. burro, an authentic so it was uh, a real pinata. Spanish yeah. pinata. Uh, so we just make fun of your whole tradition when we go ahead, man. Get the SpongeBob one for the we, yeah. seven year old. Oh, Americanize yeah. uh, the yeah, pinata. If, if Mexicans grew up with uh, SpongeBobs, they would use them. They don't. It's yeah. not like burros have some no. integrity. No one says burros. It's <laughs> All right, boy. Hey. <laughs> so. Bring it to Rick 
Raquel in the office, and she's going to bring it to the classroom. Okay, so he brings it to Raquel in the office. And what does he tell the guard? What does he tell the guard when he gets there? He tells the guard that he needs to give this backpack to Raquel. Okay. Explain, Look at him. Her dad forgot to give her her backpack, and right. he tells us to bring it to the office, and she'll bring it. Okay. Sure, you know, he just has to, he'll probably just sign a pass or whatever. Right, he'll, yeah. He'll sign for Pack, come here. Okay. Look, look at it. All right, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I know. She must have gone nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I had to buy her a bottle of water. Of course. And, you know, it's just... I know. I know. Thank you. I'm really sorry, and I'll call you after radio. All right. All bye right. Bye. bye. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's I hysterical. Say, I think Lou was apologizing. She didn't seem like she. She was like, "All right, have fun." No, she's okay now. Yeah, she's, she's all right. You can right. tell. Yeah, I, it's. I think a lot of it is me. I think I. Oh, I think I feel. I fill in a lot of blanks with guilt. Because I'm listening. So she to just. She was just quiet. She didn't say it's okay. Last time I talked yeah. to her. So I'm like, oh, yeah. she's mad. But but she did have to explain she, to you the misery of the whole thing and yeah, how she had to get out of the water yes, and how she that. was crying and everything. Yeah. And, just a, that was good. Right. Yeah, she woman, didn't yeah. save me that. I like Wait. that. <laughs> and no happy birthday. No, no there's not a, No, I love you. Oh, by the way, happy birthday. No, I yeah. love you. Oh, yeah, no, happy nothing. birthday. Hey, have fun. Ed, you were looking at oh, Pat look. Duffy, though, and laughing. Um, I'm laughing so that this is the guy. Dude, he's got his forearm tat. Yeah, he's wearing his his uh, a honest Abe Lincoln beard. Yeah, his Amish beard. Oh yeah, he's yeah, got exactly. a Frank the Tank shirt on <laughs> yeah. with a picture of a tank on it. Yeah, so you're going to an elementary school to deliver a pink Hello Kitty backpack to yeah. the kindergartner right now. Yes, yeah. You need to go. You need to see a woman named Rachel. He's taking it to Rachel. Raquel. Okay. Raquel, Raquel, you do Raquel. Yeah. <laughs> you aren't listening. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, you aren't listening. <laughs> Your wife is right. I, I suddenly see her it. point of view. Lou is it. an idiot. I didn't hear a word of it. <laughs> He'd be looking for this Rachel. I need to find Rachel. They're like locking down the school, hiding the Rachels that go there. He's going around every corner. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel, I've got your back. Back. <laughs> a lot of people pointing out that you're a beaten man on this feedback, Lou. Oh, totally. Oh, and that conversation was just like, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I know. <laughs> Uh-huh. What were you hearing in your brain during that conversation? <laughs> you know what? I White felt noise bad she was actually, not Raquel. She, yeah. <laughs> Charlie Brown's teacher. She was <laughs> being pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, considering that it's my birthday and I didn't do anything wrong, really. Yeah. And I just made a mistake and I'm rectifying it. Yeah, you're fixing it. Considering all that, she was being pretty, <laughs> pretty nice. <laughs> well, the, you just said you were sorry twice. I'm like, why are you sorry, Lily? Like, it was, she, I know. Like, I could hear her talking. It wasn't like she was... Bitching at you, she was like, "Yeah, she, you know how she freaks out." Like they were preemptive. Saying, I'm sorry's. Yeah. Well, they were from before. From the oh, way she okay. Sounded last time I told. So they were owed. I would never apologize <laughs> yeah. like that. I would just be angry back. Yeah, well, you that's can't, Jimmy you can't get through. You know, oh, you're probably right. That's Jimmy yeah. rolls. Yeah, that's how you act with a girlfriend. Who, right, who, right. who there's no stakes except right. P-U-S-S and I'll leave the last one off for savings. <laughs> <laughs> well, Puss is enough. <laughs> Puss is enough for a reason. Yeah, and that's true. Yeah, no, you gotta... Mm. All right. It's like the UN. It's There's some... I'm trying to get a diplomatic oh my God, solution he's to Look, he's wearing it. He's wearing it. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, oh, God, that's kind of gross. It's been fouled that's now. It's like a guy wearing your daughter's panties. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He's fouled it. Let me see the back of that. What is it? Hello Kitty. Oh, it is a little Hello Kitty one. All right, it's adorable. That's a, to get it off the pal talk, that's enough exploitation by the <laughs> most disgusting show on the face of, the earth, of my beautiful little daughter. I know. And her and her bad her day. Little, her little Hello Kitty backpack. Yeah. Can we go through the backpack? See what's in there? No. <laughs> I told you that's an. I I told you water. what's in there. Yeah. There's the water bottle here. Turn around. You see the pink water bottle. Ah, yeah. It's adorable. That, yeah. It's and it's all sparkly. 
That's nice. It's got little sparkles I, on it. I picked it out with her. It's way too big for her. Is it? Yeah, it looks pretty big. I did it. It was a real father's duck. job of picking something out for his daughter. Yeah. And uh, my wife was like, oh, it's awful big. And then the teacher said, that's really big. Oh, so, you, you, you I, screwed up. Yeah, completely. <laughs> what did you think? I mean, look, it fits him. It fits Pat Duffy. You can actually use that. It's yeah. so practical for him. Well, they said, though, if your daughter starts selling encyclopedias, she can carry them all <laughs> yeah. this thing. Jesus. Yeah, I know. She's two. Encyclopedias. <laughs> She's five, but anyway. All right. And if she takes a time machine back to the 50s, <laughs> yeah, sells encyclopedias. That's actually, yeah. people still do that door to door. Do they? No. Of course not. <laughs> they don't. No. Nobody does. All right, well, Pat. How, how far of a... a tr don't tell exactly where it is or anything, but like in a rate, you know, miles. Uh, about four miles. By the time you get there, school's going to be over. I know. Yeah. It's kindergarten. Well, no, they go for 45 three. minutes? It's three. Oh. It's a whole day. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah, it's a major... That's rough. Totally. It's a massive difference. That's more life. time for you I went for wife. like 10 she's minutes. Been, she's been home every day. I mean, she we went to preschool, but it was like you go, you drop her off, and then you turn around. You go home, you take a dump and go back and get her. <laughs> yeah. That's all it was. Oh, but she just started kindergarten? She started kindergarten this last uh, Tuesday. How'd she do day. first day with it being so long? Well, the so first long. day was just till 11. And oh, they kind of second day was just eleven, into it. and then till three thirty. <laughs> At eleven, was she like, "Hey, what's the deal?" Well, she was happy. She liked it. They did a few fun yeah. things, and then she grew up all at once in one phone call to me because I called her and oh, said, uh, "How was your first long day?" And she always just says, "Oh, you know, fun." Nothing. Yeah. She says, "I don't like lunch and I don't like recess." <laughs> wow. And I go, "Why?" Well, at lunch the teacher's not there. I'm just at a table, and which imagine that. And then she goes, and at recess, all the kids I know run away and play, and I don't know where they go. Oh. And then I just walk around and watch other kids play, and I don't. And then I get sad. Oh, sit, that is the saddest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, my heart broken too. I wanted to kill myself. Why? Should have. She just now she likes it. She had a few days, and she found a. Is she I said to her, people? go up to a kid. I was having trouble with and it. Punch him because <laughs> she's having memories that I remember now. Oh, like up until now when she was, you know, when they're three, you're like, so what? She won't remember this, you know. They I'll do. punch her in the face. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to wipe the hard drive in a minute. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It starts recording at five. Yeah, at five you press oh, yeah. record. You know, you make a really good point. It's really I don't remember weird. anything before kindergarten. No, they had it, nothing. Nothing mattered. But now uh, she's going to have real memories. But so I said to her, try going up to one of the kids before recess. Cause mm. Recess is crazy. Nobody's going to listen to you. Right. <laughs> Go up to a kid screaming. earlier in the day and say, can you tell me where you're going to play later so I can be there? And I realized I'm doing what my dad used to give me way too grown up. <laughs> this is like office politics advice I'm giving her. <laughs> yeah. She's in kindergarten. She's going to go, excuse me, um, Tiana. Um, could you let me know where you guys are planning to play so that <laughs> I can uh, interface with you? Because <laughs> when I got I got beat up in school, and my dad told made me memorize a speech that I was supposed to give to the kids that used to pick on me. Wow. What was, me, what was it, it was a whole thing of, you must respect me as your equal. <laughs> oh, I am God. not That must have worked you. really well. <laughs> you know, I have, I have a right to my own integrity as a person. And I, he made me memorize it and say it back to him. A bunch of times. Who's your father? The president? That's like a presidential thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, my dad's out of his mind. Did it? Mexican. Did it work at all? I didn't do it. Oh, I okay. it. Then it just became I have to make my dad happy that he that I'm going to say this. I thought perhaps, but no. I'll never say it. I am I I am owed my own space, my own dignity, yeah, just as you. Oh, 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 Melissa, get, what do you got for Louie? Oh, you saved the best for last. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Hi, Melissa. Melissa. <laughs> Why are you laughing at? I have been married for 10 years, and um, just recently I started really changing my viewpoint on that. And uh -huh. um, listening to the show has been a big help, and Louie, you in particular, oh, have really um, led me in the right direction. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to thank you. So, so do what? Divorce? You got out of a, uh, a bad marriage? She's trying not to say yeah. what she's... Yeah. Got, okay, good. Because of Louis C.K.? Pretty much, more or less, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> there you go, Lo. You're helping people. Well, what what was wrong with the marriage that you had to get out of it? Um, it just wasn't working. Yeah. Um, right. I don't I don't want to get too specific. Oh, yeah, no, 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 vague. Keep it vague. Do you have kids? <laughs> That's what I do. Um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, you have kids? It's been... 
No, and that that. Oh, so you know, fucking cares what helped. Yeah. Exactly. He well, who cares? Yes. Did he ever hit you? Some ass. Did he ever what? hit you? Was it physically abusive? No. What do you do wrong? What are you, the Kramer versus Kramer lawyer? <laughs> Did he hit you at all? Was he an, al was he an alcoholic? Yeah. Did he blow his money? Did he? Well, then I can see why you left him. Next witness. Oh. I don't want to put blame on You want Peter the kid, don't you? What makes a woman cheating. a better parent simply by virtue of her sex? There's a great line from Kramer Infidelity. versus Kramer. Infidelity. Oh, by the virtue of her sex. I don't Infi know who that was. Infidelity. Dustin Jerry Hawkins. Seinfeld. That was good. Um... No, uh, yeah, marriages are, yeah, are sometimes they just stink. Every fucking day stinks. And then you stop talking about it because it's so bad that the only, you can't communicate because the only communication would be, honey, I'm not feeling so good about us. I know because every day sucks and we should split up. That's a hard thing to say out loud. Uh, but there's nothing, you know, it's natural. Why should things, well, nothing is going to just keep going except for Opie's marriage. Other than that, there, there's, <laughs> it really there's is no a happy marriage. Think, I really think marriages well, I, should I, be I, finite. I really think they should, you should sign like a five year, 10 year contract. Oh, yeah. Depending on your, you re up. You should be on the re up after that. Yeah. Getting married. Hmm. Well, that's like when you, if you were to like do a 10 year, five year. Yeah. I love you. I want to marry you for 10 years. Yeah. And then around nine years, you start talking about, do you want to keep re doing re this? Do you want to re-up? Well, then you could say, I'm not, here's why I'm not crazy about re-upping. You could actually say it. Yeah, if you're yeah. nine years deep into a forever relationship, you can't even talk about the problems because there's no. so much at stake. But if you're at year nine, you'd be like, okay, here's what I hate about you. If you could change 40% of these, I would hang in for another... Two five, years. Ten, five years. And then, and then the no, other person I goes, change. I don't want to change this. I don't want to change this. What a this. brilliant idea. Well, because we're talking about changing marriage to be civil unions anyway, to be a kind. Civil union, by the way, is a prenuptial agreement. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. A prenuptial agreement is a civil union. It's a court based. And thank based God for those. Civil. So you write those out. No wonder you And then it. every marriage will become. Wow. I know. Every marriage will <laughs> become. Exactly. The men are talking. <laughs> yeah, why don't you go grab some coffee exactly. for the boys? We're going to make some <laughs> cookies. I want to smell cookie dough wafting out of the kitchen. And you yeah, waddle too. around in your apron while the men talk. <laughs> and fucking drag your cunt into the fucking kitchen. Yeah. Make no, listen, cookies. I'm glad you got out of there. It's not. <laughs> I'm only kidding, madam. <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of pressure on married people to stay together by people that have no stake in it. Yes. No, you got to right. hang in there. Like you're no, you don't live in my fucking house, you know? So right. You don't know the misery. No, and if you don't have kids, I don't even care. I mean, if you don't have kids, you just you broke up with your boyfriend. You're dating, right. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Is it's it? meaningless. There's no, you just... It does deep. become different when, when you become a father. Holy yeah, that's shit, it. man. Totally different. Well, in world. any event, thank you. Louis. All right, Melissa. Sure. Go find Melissa. Yeah. Good luck to you.